Hi, and thanks so much for joining me for my summer essentials. There were a few things that I had in mind thinking about this. SPF, first of all. Second, it's just making sure everything doesn't melt off in the hot weather. And then thirdly, comfort. So if you'd like to see what those things are, please keep watching. I do like to start with an exfoliant because my skin does tend to get a bit more texture. I don't know about you, but I do notice in the summer I get much more texture. So I do exfoliate, although my skin is sensitive. So even though it has more texture, it's more sensitive. I think because there is a little bit more sun exposure. So I use this Tatcha Polished Gentle Rice Enzyme Powder. And this, if you haven't used it before, is really gentle. I think the description is perfect. Your skin feels polished at the end. It opens like this. It's powder, so it's dry. It looks like this. And you just, the directions are, add about half a teaspoon, probably this much, into wet hands, add water to create a creamy film, massage into wet face for about 10 to 20 seconds, and avoid the eyes. Really, really gentle. I'm trying to put this back in. I've talked about this before, but I just find myself using it more in the summer than any other time. So if you haven't tried it and you're looking for an exfoliant and you're having the same texture issue as I am, then this is really nice. Next, I follow up with an Essence and I've tried the Jurlique one. I really like that one, but I'm also using this one right now, the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. And that just adds a really nice, very light layer of moisture. I don't want to wear too many heavy creams in the summer, but I still want that hydration. So I think the Essence is a nice addition to the summer routine if you haven't tried that yet. And after skincare comes more sunscreen. I've got the Even Up Clinical Pigment Perfector. If you've been here before, you've heard me talk about this many times. I do rely on it daily. It is a brightening, correcting, and protecting formula. I have found a way to deepen it because I know, here I'll give you a little, quick little, Color Swatcher, it's too pink, it's too light for me. But I did purchase this Drunk Elephant Deep Bronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Serum, and I've been mixing it in, and it's been working really nicely for a no makeup, makeup kind of look. Actually, yesterday I had to run a really early errand, so of course I wanna go with SPF. So I just mixed these two together. Here's the bronzer, and I just mixed the two together and it was more like my skin tone. I didn't have to put anything on top of it. So if you have the even up and you are looking to just deepen it up a little bit, adding something like this is really nice. I'm really liking that. Although I did try filming with this the other day. It does not look great on camera. It's a little bit too reflective, a little bit like a Tin Man. Another alternative to that product is the NARS Smooth and Protect Primer. It's an SPF 50 as well so it doesn't have the same qualities as the even up it doesn't act on your skin but it does protect it and it's a really nice texture it's just translucent it comes out white you can see right here it comes out white but then you rub it in and you can't see it so if you have a counter near you and you're looking for a primer with SPF that's a very very nice one and makeup applies beautifully on top of that as well. After that, skin tint I think is key because it's a little bit more lightweight. In some cases it has SPF. I do have the Hourglass Illusion Hyaluronic Skin Tint. It's got SPF 15 and this is in Honey. It kind of perfects those imperfections on my skin. Very nice going on. It's not as dewy as the it Cosmetic CC Cream if you've tried that. That's a little bit too dewy for me for the summer. It kind of becomes oily very quickly. This one is very nice. It's not that degree of dewiness. If you're looking for something less dewy than that one, here's a good one. This one's really nice actually as your moisturizer. This one works better for me after I toned and did everything else but moisturizer and then I just used this as my moisturizer. I've talked about this, I think it was last year I did a video. I still love the texture of this. I haven't found anything else like it. It's the Renewed Hope in a Jar Skin Tint, and this one is in 7.5 Honey, which is why I still have it, because it's a bit it's a bit deep for me. I use the other one, the one just below that tan. Oh, I can't remember. I'll put the color that's a better match for me down below. It's a deep, very deep honey color, so it's deeper than my skin tone. It would be too dark for me to wear on its own, although I would mix it into other things as well. So it works well with moisturizer, but it works even better when I use this as my moisturizer. It looks really skin-like. Concealer, I've been trying this one out just to see what else I can do with it because it has SPF in it. So it's a clay de peau. It's the reformulated concealer in Honey. I didn't realize actually when I did the video that they had added SPF to it. And I know a lot of makeup artists like this and they were concerned that the SPF would affect it, but 
from what I've read it has not and what I like about it is that it has SPF in it. Most concealers don't have SPF, but I do mix this in with the Urban Decay Color Corrector in Deep Peach just to deepen it up and then I will use it on my darker areas, but for now I just use it under my eyes. Someone commented that they had used this and everything else got tan on their face except for this area, so just be aware if you don't have sunscreen anywhere else on your face and you just put this in certain areas, you might end up with areas that are protected by the sun versus not, and then you can just imagine what that looks like. So I would certainly use this with other SPF products. Eyebrows. If you have skin like me, which is dry on the exterior, and then you can get oily on the interior, like this especially right here near your nose, eyebrows can be a problem because if you go like this, you're gonna wipe off your eyebrow. So this product is, so far of all the eyebrow products I've used, been the most water resistant, most waterproof. In fact, I think this claims that it has quite a long life once you apply it. It's the Wonder Brow, and this is in Brunette. I didn't realize that I was using the, um, there's a black brown version of it, which is, of course, deeper. But here's the brunette. It's a bit ashier and lighter. I have it on right now and I kind of like it for summer. I like it for summer because it's not as severe as the darker color could be, especially if you are highlighting your hair or coloring your hair. Sometimes you wanna lighten up your eyebrows. So I just use it as a base. I put a couple other brow products on top of it, but I use this as a base so that if anything else rips off, at least this will stick on. So, Nothing is perfect, like it doesn't stain your skin to the degree that it's like tattooed on, it's not anything like that, but it does stick better than any other brow product and it does hold your brows in place. I've noticed with some of the brow products I've been trying out, they're not holding my eyebrows in place as well as this because I do have very coarse eyebrows that like to go in whatever direction they wanna go and it's usually not the direction I want them to go in, so this will really adhere them. So be careful because a little goes a long way and if you put a lot on to begin with, you'll probably have to remove everything and start over because it really is quite strong in terms of its hold, which is why don't throw away this part that comes with it because I'll apply this and then I'll brush it through so it's not as um, sticky or as thick as maybe first application because sometimes I will inadvertently apply this too heavy and then I end up with too much and the spoolie that comes with it is nice to just brush through and kind of thin it out. Okay, I've talked about bronze. I've talked about these before, but I'm gonna talk about them again because they are really that good. So the Shantikai Radiant Steel Bronzer for a bronzer right around the perimeter of your face. You can add it into the Even Up product. You can put it all over your face if you want to, kind of like the um, Drug Elephant product. I kind of use them the same, although this has more skincare benefits to it. But mine's almost done. Really beautiful color right there. It has a bit more um, terracotta to it than say the than say the Drunk Elephant. Actually, I'll put them side by side so you can really see the difference. This top one is the Shantikai Gel Bronzer and then this one is the Drunk Elephant bronze so you can see there's a more goldeny tone here and then there's more terracotta in that Chantecai product. Uh, then of course Chantecai Chic Gelé in Lively, really great blush color. It's an apricot color. These are certainly things that I use over and over. Another great one is Bobbi Brown, the Pot Rouge for lips and cheeks and this one is in Blushed Rose number three. This one might be a a trial size I can't remember I don't think this is the full size but the color is very very pretty it's like a dusty rose but a little goes a long way here as well next for luminaire I do rely on of course a cream formula and it's a Tom Ford chain mm -hmm. illuminate this one right here I don't use this as much but I use this quite a bit and I will apply over powder for eyes sometimes I just like to add mascara and just even out my eyelid color so I will go in with the Laura Mercier caviar stick eye color in caramel this is a purchase and repurchase and repurchase I think we've purchased this two or three times it cancels out the red under my eyes I will put in the waterline I'll put it all over my lid and then just add mascara and love that for the summer. It doesn't crease, doesn't go anywhere. If I looked into the Tom Ford waterproof foundation. Please let me know if you've tried it. 
It looks intriguing to me, but I think it's about $90. So it's a lot to risk if it's not going to work. So please let me know if you've tried it because I would love to give it a try if it works. And then I was thinking, well, if you don't have waterproof foundation, what can you do to seal everything in? The All Nighter Setting Spray by Urban Decay, it says by Scandinavia. So there's a relationship between the two because Scandinavia I know is known for their setting sprays. So this is easier to get a hold of. This is again by Urban Decay. You just spray it on your face when you're done. It kind of melts everything together and seals it in. It extends the life of your makeup. A great waterproof eyeliner is by Chanel. It's their waterproof eyeliner. And this one is in Terra Rosa. I love this color, but their other colors are good as well. It's very soft going on. It doesn't tug. And mine's lasted for a while. And if you're looking for a nice waterproof eyeliner, this one's great. This one's almost out, you know, right at the end there, which I'm sad about because this color is beautiful. Right there. It's like a plummy color. I love this one. Nail polish. If you like nail polish in the summer, do I like it to last a long time though? I don't want to keep doing my nails over and over. And if you are swimming or at the beach, the water will kind of wreck your nails. So this one's nice. It's a one coat. I believe it's a new formula by Essie. And this one is in tonal tote. What I love about this the most is there's no base coat. There's no top coat. It's just this and you're done. And here it is, it's lasted, this is a probably about three day old. I'm gonna say three days old so far. The last time I wore it, it lasted about five days. So I'm pretty rough on my hands, I wash them a lot. I've been in and out of the pool. Really, really beautiful color. It's like a very light, I don't know how to describe it. It's like a cool pink, but it has some gold shimmer, very fine gold shimmer in there. So if you are interested in a new nail polish, I was actually gonna go get one of those, um, the ones that goes with the gel, but then I saw this and I thought, well, if you're gonna eliminate one coat, then yes, I would like that. Also, blotting papers are essential for the summer because once you start perspiring and getting oily then that's when the makeup starts falling apart on your face so you can kind of stop that from happening these are great they're the tatcha abura oh gosh abura toragami abura toragami Japanese beauty papers. These all natural leaflets are powder free, fragrance free, and handmade and suitable for all skin types. Here's what it looks like. These are very nice. I have some other ones that aren't as, I mean, they're not as fancy. They work though. There are 30 in here. And the ones that are not as pricey are these Boshas. And this is the No Bad Skin Days. These ones happen to be peppermint scented and here's what they look like. The Tasha ones, you can just see the quality is higher than this. And these are just more kind of luxurious to use. There's a bit of a texture on here, like a basket weave almost. And these are just plain. I don't know if you can see that. Probably can't see it from here. But I would just keep these in my purse with me. These are good to use if I need to go somewhere later in the day and I have a chance to refresh my makeup at home. I'll use these at home. But I'll keep these in my bag. Then for powders, I mentioned I don't love these setting powders, but what I've been doing is I've been taking the top off and using it like this. Very, very dangerous for a clumsy person like me because this is just gonna be on the floor soon, so I need to transfer it to a different container. But I can swatch these for you. I know I didn't swatch them very well for you last time. Right here is the color medium. And then I've got the Color Science one, so I'm gonna compare these for you. This is a Color Science Medium. I mentioned that the Color Science ones performed better, especially the brush, but the color isn't as good for me. So this is a medium from Supergoop, and this is a medium from Color Science. So there's a big difference between the two. Yeah, so if you are a deeper medium, the Super Goop is gonna be a better shade. And then I'll show you the deeper colors. This is the Super Goop. There's the Super Goop Deep right there. Then I've got the Color Science Tan. You can see why this is probably the Super Goop. It's a better shade for me than this. I put this on my face and it looked like I was playing around in like dirt. This one's certainly a better color for me. These two super goop colors are better, but if you have more of a pink undertone, then the color signs will work really well for you. Then for lips, I know everyone's heard about these sugar lip products, but they have a cute little kit that I found. 
I love the shade Honey, and this one comes with Honey and Petal, and then there's this sport stick, and it says you can use that on lips, face, and eye area, which I think is smart because that eye area I think gets neglected, which is why that uh, concealer is kind of nice for under the eye because it has that SPF. So here's the stick. Get it out. This is a stick. It looks like this SPF 30. You can apply it to your lips, eyes, and face. I think that's great if you're going to the beach or you're just going to be at the pool. Then for honey and petal, this is by the way $35. It's a $49 value. I love little sizes like this because I've never used up everything except actually this is one thing full size item I've used up many times. Here's a swatch of the honey. Great Your Lips But Better shade, and then Petal, and this is more of a tinted lip treatment. I will use those all, actually those three until they're gone. I'm going to put in a quick clip here of some sandals that I love to wear during the summer. These are probably, I'm going to say, at least a couple years old, so I'll see if I can find something similar. They're by Seegerson Morrison. They are like a caged sandal with these little silver, I don't know, they're not studs, but they're little silver things on them. But I like it because they keep the sandal a little bit edgier. I love the heel that it's a block heel because it makes it easier to walk in. I like to be in comfortable shoes that have some style to them and I think the little silver detail makes it edgier as well. You can wear it with denim or dresses and shorts. So I walked actually a couple miles in them down a hill and was very comfortable. And the reason I purchased these is because of my sister. She lives in a big city and walks a lot. That's how she gets around. She takes the subway, walks everywhere. She's actually had a couple recommendations for me that I am very happy I invested in because these are things that I wear year in and year out. And I just want to show you these and hopefully I can find some dupes for you or some that are similar. But I love the height of the heel because it's a heel but it's not too high. And the fact that it's a block heel, especially if you're walking around in a city, you don't have to worry about stepping on cobblestone as much as with say a very, very high heel. And then of course SPF. For your head if you've been here for a while then you've seen this hat before if you are new then i'm going to show it to you again because it is a little bit pricey you know this is pricey for a hat but if you figure you just buy one hat that's really good that'll last you a really long time and give you sun protection i think it's worth the investment and i've taken this with me everywhere i traveled it's packable it's got UPF 50, so it's as if you have SPF, but in this case it's clothing, so it's UPF, and it's by Eric Javits. And it's a little bit misshapen because I have dropped it in the water a few times at this point, but it still does the job. So it's, yeah, and it's dirty. But I do take just a cloth with some detergent and I'll wipe it down and that cleans it. But I will wear it either on the plane or it says you can place the hat upside down with your suitcase stuff crown with hosiery and surrounding articles to support the brim. It's definitely meant to travel with. I can't say enough about this hat. I love it and I've looked at a couple other designs but I like this one the best. Like I said if you were here last year I talked about it last year and I'm still loving it as much as I did last year. I think it's a really good investment especially when you're just going from say the car to a store even wearing that to protect you from the sun because the sun is the sun whether you're by the pool or in the street so just to make sure you're covered up as much as possible especially your face i know sun damage right here if you're wondering what happens when you get sun damage just you can look at my videos without makeup that's what happens and then these sunglasses i recently talked about them but i get so many compliments on them and i do love how i talk about melting makeup if it starts to wear away right here just from perspiration and you wear sunglasses that rub against that, it'll come off. So these, they just sit beautifully on the face and don't touch your cheeks. I know, sound like a broken record. I just want to mention these one more time in case you wanted an update. They do leave marks right here on my nose because they are a bit heavier, but I am willing to live with that if it's going to keep everything else off my face here. So those are my summer essentials. I hope it was helpful for you. If you have any ideas for me that you think I could use, please let me know. I'm happy to try them out. I'm always looking for things that will work during the summer, especially if you live in a place that's really hot. 
So if you enjoyed this video and learned something, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have, thank you so much. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Then, did I drop it? Where did it go? Oh, no. I didn't drop it, but here, I'm going to make another mess. Addition Last. to the winter. Speaking of waterproof, I looked into some... Oh, hey, where's the outers? Okay, I've mentioned I don't love these. Why? And then, of course, it's under here. And then we've got the uh, messes. That I the stick. The stick. I don't know. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. Uh,